To make the peppermint ice for our Fortress of Solitude cake, we're going to need some sugar, light corn syrup, peppermint extract, some white food coloring, a parchment lined baking tray, and a candy thermometer. Let's go ahead and get it started. Into my saucepan, I'm going to put one and three quarters cup of granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup of corn syrup, and a half a cup of water. We'll stir this up and then take it over to the stove. I've got my pan on medium heat and we're going to wait until this comes to a full boil. Stirring frequently, we don't want the sugar to burn. My mixture has come to a boil. I'm going to put my candy thermometer in and we're going to just leave this alone until the candy thermometer hits 305 degrees. Now I'm going to stir in one teaspoon of peppermint extract. I'm going to pour about a quarter cup of the mixture into my measuring cup. Next I'm just going to pour my candy out onto my parchment lined baking tray. Now to the candy in my measuring cup I'm going to add a few drops of white food color and quickly stir that in. Then I'm going to drizzle it over the clear candy. You want to do this quickly because the candy in the measuring cup will harden fairly quickly. It's set for about five minutes. Now I'm just going to take a sharp knife and I'm going to run it through the candy to make thin strips. This was just going to help when it comes time to break this apart to get nice long pieces. Now we're just going to let this set and harden. I like to do this the day before at least to give it plenty of time to be totally hard and ready to put on the cake. To make the chocolate ice shards for our Fortress of Solitude cake, you're going to need a 12 ounce package of white candy melts, parchment paper, a microwave safe bowl, and a spatula. Let's go ahead and whip up our candy. I'm gonna put my candy melts in the microwave at 30 second intervals, stirring between each of those intervals until it's completely melted and smooth. My candy is melted. It took about two and a half minutes in my microwave and I've just put a piece of parchment paper down on my countertop. The candy is not that hot, but if you're worried about your countertops, you know, feel free to do this on a baking sheet. Now I'm just going to pour my candy out. Then I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to spread it out. You don't want to spread this out too thin. Don't worry about it being totally smooth because this is again supposed to be ice. My chocolate's set up for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to just take a sharp knife and do the same thing we did with the peppermint candy and cut this into thin strips of different widths. Now we're just going to let this harden completely. Here is some peppermint ice candy that I made yesterday. And now you just break it apart by scoring it, hopefully. There you go. You can break off these bigger pieces. Some will break into smaller pieces, but that's okay because we want a bunch of different sizes. And here are some chocolate shards I made yesterday. They break apart a whole lot easier than the peppermint candy. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make the peppermint and chocolate ice candy that we're going to use on our upcoming Superman Fortress of Solitude cake. It's got a really special surprise. So please join our channel so you don't miss it. 